Enrollment in MLISD is falling and the Board of Trustees is looking at options to address the lack of revenue. Thanks for joining us. The school board met for a special work session earlier today. Tonight, KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has a breakdown of their discussion. That story topping our news tonight at 10 from your local election headquarters. Amarillo ISD officials say enrollment is now below 30,000 students, and it has fallen more than 10 percent since peaking in 2015-2016 at 33,673. That's bad for the district's bottom line because enrollment affects their funding from the state. That trend that we've, we've studied is showing that we'll lose quite a few more over the years just because of uh, complex issues like birth rate, lowered birth rates. Uh, Potter County is shrinking uh, while Randall County is growing. And so we, we have schools that are shrinking. As they lose students, the district has too many facilities. While no decisions are being made yet, the board is weighing its options, including the possibility of consolidating schools to save money on payroll. Board President Doyle Quarter says nothing is set in stone yet. There's going to be hard decisions made. I mean, there, there is, like you said, you look at the data, they, we have to adjust. You can't do things like you've always done it. Uh, but what those decisions are, that's what we're addressing right now, trying to investigate what would be the best thing to do for our district. Quarter says the next step for the board will be meeting with the community, giving them all of the options and hearing plenty of feedback before making any decisions about consolidating or potentially cutting programs. So there are a lot of options. It's very complex in a district this size, but uh, places to, when you start talking about cutting, you're cutting things that we don't want to cut because it's very important for our students and our families and our community. Uh, so those are things that we don't want to do at all. So you have to make hard decisions. Amarillo ISD Superintendent Doug Loomis also says there are not many entities that lost $18 million over the last two years without staff reductions. He says they've absorbed that cost to this point. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, thank you. Despite the district's lack of enrollment revenue, Quarter says the staff was able to prevent, present a balanced budget. And that wasn't in deficit like many other school districts across the state have had to adopt this year.